Hello everybody and welcome to my first video of the Farming Simulator 19 Platinum Edition, also known as the Class DLC. So as you can see to begin with we do have a different homepage background, it says Platinum Edition and we have the Class Zerian tracks just there as well. So that's just what I wanted to show you first of all. Here we are in the game and this is the Felsbrid map in case you're interested. The Platinum Edition this year does not have its own map, it's all about class. And um, I must just say before I properly get into this, I can't give my full opinion on the DLC until the release date, but I will be giving you my opinion uh, on the 22nd, which is the release date. Also, I'm just going to have a walk around as I just speak, you can see all the new machinery. Everything you see, all the new machines which you see here, all the machines, are part of the DLC. Nothing is from the base game, none of these are mods either. So this is a pre-order bonus, along with the wheel loader over there. You do get the wheel loader, but you don't get the reskinned version if you don't pre-order. So yes, I'm just going to say, if you do want to find out more about this, then there is a link down below. Also, if you want to pre-order it, then also use the same link down below, and it will take you over to the official website. It's not a funny website or anything. It's the official website where you can pre-order. And if the if it's already been released when you're watching this, uh, if it's gone the 22nd, uh, you, the link should still be active, and you can still buy it. So um, yeah, we're going to get straight into this, though. Like I say, everything here is part of the DLC. We're going to be looking at everything in closer detail throughout this video. But to begin with, I'm just going to jump into the Lexian 8900, which is just around the corner. This absolute beast of a machine. And we're going to get it going. It has the 1230 header on the front of it, which is big. It's a very big header. Also, I just want to show you something as well. Let me just pull forward so the lighting is a little bit better. Okay, here we go. Yep, that's right. It's not just a texture laid across the track. They are actually modeled, it is 3D. It is a 3D tread, which is here. So here I have a machine from the base game, and you can see that this is actually just a flat track. Sort of gives the impression that it's 3D, but the tread is certainly not 3D. And here you can quite clearly see that each individual tread is deep. Um, so that is a, a big difference between the base game machinery and the Platinum Edition. But like I say, I probably can't go into uh, saying I absolutely love something or I absolutely hate something until the game or the, until the Platinum Edition is actually released. It is only fair. It's how it's always been uh, with the early access. So I will respect the wishes of giants. Anyway, let's get into this. Let me show you this machine in operation and uh, well you can you can certainly make your own opinion hopefully because um, it's right here obviously you're not the one driving it which does make it a little bit tricky but it should still give you a pretty good idea it's throwing the uh, it's chopping it it's throwing it around side to side big header big intake let's just put this on to uh, swath mode though because I'm actually going to use the balers uh, we do have two balers included uh, there is the just a baler, a class baler, and also the one which is a uh, two-in-one, it's a combi. So it'll actually create the bale, and then before dropping the bale on the ground, it will also wrap it in a wrap of your choice, uh, whichever colour you decide. It is the same four colours as uh, the base game, so you've got the black wrap, the sort of lime, lime sort of green wrap, uh, white, and also pink. So the choice is yours. I'm just going to put this on a worker there, because uh, in a minute we need to go and get the uh, trailer. We'll attach it to a fairly high horsepower tractor, and again, everything which we're going to use is part of the DLC, part of the Platinum Edition. So, um, yeah, the only thing which obviously isn't part of the Platinum Edition was the John Deere I showed you a minute ago. That was just to you know, show you the, the track. Anyway, we have here the Class Jaguar 980. And this you can customise, you can have a, a variety of different numbers. I'm not going to go into the detailing of every single machine because it, I will be here all day. Uh, but there are actually fact sheets where you can see the range of numbers. Let's just go to class. Um, and yeah, there are two different foragers. One of them has the Terra Tracker standard, one of them has the wheels. Uh, so you can choose between the two. I have purchased everything. But just to give you an idea of this one here, it does range from the 930 to the 980. So you're going to see, well, the distinct difference actually is the exhaust pipe. Uh, it gets very chunky, just here. It's like a, a cruise ship funnel. 
but there's plenty of uh, ranges. Actually, the prices do range from, um, let's just say, 375 all the way to an extra £211,000. So there's quite a big difference, 884 horsepower, and that goes all the way down to 462. But we're going to be taking a close look at this in, in future live streams, actually. This is going to be my live streaming map for this weekend and possibly into next week as well um, because there's going to be so much to cover when it comes to all this class machinery. There is a lot of class machinery. So, um, yes, we are going to be, hopefully, progressing quite nicely on this new save game on Felsbrunn. Just to give you an idea of what we own, we have uh, five fields. We have 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. I have also just added this extra shed to the base game yard. In fact, I never actually did the yard. I never actually used the starting yard at the beginning of FS19 when it was first released. So this is actually the first time I've played on Felsbrunn with the, the initial layout, which is quite interesting. Anyway, let's get into a tractor. Enough rambling. It's progressing nicely. It's an Arium 460 with a front loader. Also, it has the panoramic roof. It's a cab roof, so you can actually see the uh, front loader better when it's up. Uh, you can actually have it in standard as well if you'd like to, more like this. And actually, I'll go for this tractor here. We'll go for the Axion 870. And that is a baler just there. That's the quadrant baler. Okay, so what we need to pick up is a trailer which is going to be suitable for grain. So I'm going to have to make a bit of an exception here because we do actually have to have a different trailer because the class trailers which we have are for bulky loose products such as the grass which has been chopped up and turned into chaff or maybe maize which has been cut and, and turned into chaff. So just so we can get the combine unloaded I'm just going to get a trailer very quickly. And I would just like to give a big thank you to Giants for providing me with the early access code. I believe that there are quite a few YouTubers who also have it so uh, yeah it's uh, it is a nice way of getting a taster of it prior to release obviously it's an honor for me to be able to do this i am eternally grateful for it but i'm just very pleased that i can share the content with you and it gives you a good idea hopefully of uh, what it is all about anyway this combine has almost finished the field uh, unsurprisingly so let's just um i'll get back into it and i'll finish off just taking off a worker I'll take a look at the in cab entertainment I think we can slow things down a bit because I have been rambling on a bit as I tend to do when I get excited about things. Usually at the release of a new farming simulator game, whether it's a platinum edition or a whole new release. Just pan around. Now you might have been following the fact sheets anyway. Giants have been providing uh, little videos with the fact sheets. So you will have already seen some of these machines in action. But this is just a little bit more intimate because I can obviously comment over it as I'm controlling it. Now if you would like to have a different header on here, for example a header which can do the corn or the sunflowers, there is one included in the DLC as well. So this combine can do all of your usual crops ranging from well, wheat to sunflowers. Um, it's also going to cover the corn if you'd like to do that. And I will show you that header in a minute or two. It's just over there in the yard. She's so turn around, head back up again, and then we can move on to the baling. I would use the baler which can wrap, but obviously we don't need to wrap any wheat, any wheat straw, so uh, um, yes, we'll, we'll just use the quadrant baler which is just over there parked, which we've just seen. But first, I'm 95% full. So we'll put this into the trailer. So let's see what the lighting is like on here. Let's turn those beacons off. Obviously to give you a good idea, it would have to be night time. Ah, that will do nicely. So it's all lit up. There's even some lights in the hopper actually. So you should be able to see in there from inside the cab. Okay, so that has finished unloading. Let's just finish that final piece. Don't worry, I will make it daytime in a minute. I was just playing around. Ok, 
Okay. Gonna be wide enough? Yes. It is gonna be wide enough. Good. I think there must be a new light actually for class machinery. I'm not sure they used to have a tail light in the middle. I'm pretty sure they didn't do. Maybe it's just because this one is so wide. This combine is just massive. Anyway, yeah, let's just get to the end of here. Couldn't have been a better width, really, to be able to uh, complete the field without having to just harvest a very small strip. So in my future streams, we will be working in these fields over here. Like I say, we have five of them. One is still growing. Uh, we'll be using the forage harvesters, and also we will be harvesting some of this corn um, with the combine harvester too, because I do need to... Uh, Get some corn in through the combine just to demonstrate the header. There we go. So that shouldn't take too long to bale. And I probably should show the dominator as well actually. We do also have a Takano. There is a Takano within the class DLC. Right then. So I'm just going to leave the trailer here for now. So I'm going to focus on using all of the class equipment. I know the tractor is a class machine, um, but yes, I do want to uh, focus on other jobs rather than just carting. So there we go, the class Lexian 8900 with the 1230 header. Now, for anybody who was interested in the other header for it, well, it's here, the 1275C Corio. There you go. So yeah, it, it is still actually a pretty big header. I think, it's I think it comes in at 9 metres uh, in total. The uh, serial header we've just been using was 12.3 metres. Anyway, yeah, let's just go and grab a different tractor. Here is a 960. Pretty much top of the range, I believe. We've got the jewels on that. Jewel wheels front and back. Now, this is actually included in the DLC, the Tory in 1914, but if you want to have this reskinned version, this is part of the pre order bonus. And also included with that is the Class 108 SL Maxi Dominator, and included with that is the 5.1 meter um, C510 header. So, uh, yeah, I would like to give that a go as well. We've got so much stuff to use. So much machinery. I will be using it. If it's not going to be used today, it will be used in a live stream. Although, yes, I will most likely be live streaming today anyway, so it will probably be today, just not in this video. Anyway, yes, let's go and grab that tractor over here. We'll put it on the baler. We'll get this baled. We can demonstrate that. Take it off there. Now I'm going to try and keep this yard as neat as possible. Obviously, at the moment, everything is just, well, everywhere, uh, because I am trying to use as much as possible within this very short first little video. So here we go. We have the Quadrant 5300 FC. folded. Uh, as for lighting on this, you might be interested in lighting, possibly. Uh, if you are, this is what it looks like in the dark. There we go. We can start the baling, but yeah, we should probably bale it in the, in the daytime. That's better. Okay, beacon's off. Bailing underway. There's the first bail. So I crack on getting this done. As you can see, the bales are flying out of the back. Excuse my bailing, I, I do. I do miss a few bits every now and then. Um, I am always trying to pan the camera around, so 
I did come a little bit off course. But we can do 12 miles per hour with this, so we really are flying over these swaths of straw, getting all bailed up. Also included within the DLC is the mower pack, and we now have some uh, proper big class mowers. The butterfly mowers in the front mower. So I'm also going to be doing some uh, grass cutting, which again will probably be in a live stream, and I will also do some uh, silage bales. We'll, we'll do some fermented silage bales by wrapping it with the combi baler. I actually need to try and find a, a field which is going to be suitable to do some baling in. I think what I'll probably do is buy a new field and then I'll put some grass in it and then we can obviously use that piece of land to do that job on. Because uh, really the purpose of this save game, this let's play here, is to explore every every area of the Platinum Edition and uh, you know use every piece of machinery within the class DLC. So back into first person view, we're just finishing off here. I will keep going quiet because I'm just trying to uh, show off the tractor as much as possible. I'm sure you don't want to just keep listening to me continuously. Okay. So that is our field of bales done, which we'll be picking up at a later date. There we go. For anybody interested, we have just produced, let's see how many bales, uh, we have produced 19. There was 19 there. So I think it's now time to take a close look at the combi baler and also the mowers. We're not going to use those today in this video. Uh, we're actually going to move on to the uh, Takano combine harvester and we are going to do some corn. We also do have the trailers and also the loading wagon just over here. So there's going to be some grass work as well. This will be used for when we do the uh, foraging. Okay, so this is the combi. This is the Roland 455 Uni Wrap. Uh, so it creates the round bale in here. Then it, it obviously drops it off the back onto this uh, turntable, if that's the correct word for it. And then it will wrap it. And like I say, with whatever colour wrap you've got, it's defaulted to white, so uh, whatever you choose. And you can just take it over to the workshop to customise it if you'd like to. We also have the mowers just over here. We have the Disco 3600 FC, which is the front mower. It's attached currently to the class Arian 660. And here is the, the rear mower. This is the 1100C Disco. I'll just pull it out of the shed so you can see it properly. It'll be good to unfold it. does extend and that is our working width so quite clearly that is that is a wide working width it's gonna get the job done and if I'm not mistaken I would say that this lever here is going to allow us to change it from a wide spread to a swath so you can see the lever moves just there if I lift it up again we should be able to see hopefully underneath so you can actually see it moving under here as well, widespread, and then it's preventing it from widespreading, and it goes into a swath. Uh, now I've actually got it out of the shed, I will just mow a very, very small area, just to properly demonstrate that. There's not much point in me explaining something if you're not going to be able to see it. So we are currently, let's just see, we're currently on swath, I think. We'll soon find out. I'm pretty sure it's on swath. There we go. And then if I just press left control and Y, it's putting it more to a, a wide spread. I suppose it is quite difficult to see that in the video, um, but it, it is by far much more spread out. You can also see when I press F1, it does say work mode widespreading, 
and then if I press left control and Y, it goes to swath dropping. That's what the game calls it. So yeah, obviously when I do a whole field it's going to be much more obvious. Uh, but again, I'm just going to demonstrate. This is swath dropping. Like this. And then if I change it, I go to wine spreading. So there we go. We have the class mowers. Right, so like I said, we're going to go on to the, uh, the corn harvesting. Just reverse that back into there. And we're going to jump into the Takano. Yes, I'm definitely going to use the Dominator in an upcoming live stream, so stay tuned for that. And whenever I do a live stream, I do always publish it afterwards. Sometimes it can be the next morning if it's done late at night. Um, if it is sort of mid-afternoon, then it'll be published probably could stop it the next morning but it could well be straight away afterwards it varies but it will always be published unlike the larger combine unlike the 8900 uh, this one has a smaller corn header so it actually can fold right up the larger one has to have its own trailer whereas this one is all nice and compact so you would have to buy the uh, header which you would find more appropriate for your farm for storage and for transportation obviously this one is going to be easier but then when you're in the field, it isn't going to be as effective because it's nowhere near as wide. Uh, having said that though, it is still not so bad working with. We're not going to do the whole field, we're just going to do a few runs up and down, but I just want to demonstrate this unfolding, this header unfolding. Uh, you can see the all, every row unfolds like that. And then we're ready to harvest. So yeah, doing it this way, if, you, if you're new to the game, doing it this way is um, actually harvesting corn. So we actually have the, uh, the kernels of corn. Uh, and if we were doing it the other way, we'd be using a forage harvester and we'd actually be chopping the whole plant, the whole crop, and we'd be shredding it into chaff and then it'd be turned in, into silage. We'd be fermenting it for silage. These two fields could probably be joined together because they are the same crop and they are very close to each other. There is a, a little track which runs between them, but really it's not that necessary. So I think I probably will at some point plan them together. Get one huge field going. Uh, well, actually, I suppose you could just turn this whole area, this massive block, into one big field instead of having separate separate blocks. But yeah, like I say, this is this is the Felsbury map, which has been around since the release of 19. Giants did all their promotional videos on on here. I think they did all of them on here. They might have been on Ravenport, not too sure, but uh, yeah, it does seem to be a more appropriate map for it. Especially considering where class are actually from, so having them on this map, which I believe is actually in Germany, uh, would be the better map of the two. But it doesn't really matter. You go on any map. So, yeah, we should head back up here again. Show you the in cab entertainment as usual. I think there's a fridge under that seat for keeping beverages. Well, there certainly is in the Lexian anyway. The key is over there. And if you want to see in the back, there we go. Better keep on course. piling in. So that is a demonstration of the corn harvesting with some class equipment. So yeah, like I say, there is a lot uh, within this DLC, a lot of class machinery, so it does need to be done properly. I need to be able to you know, demonstrate things properly in depth rather than just doing a few minutes on each job. Uh, and that's what the live streams are for. I'm going to really crack on with things in the live streams. Um, we will we'll start a job and we'll finish that job. We won't just stop halfway through. Put that here. And I'm just going to have a little bit of a wander around because I have laid everything out so that you can see it all. Now this is a very small little front loader telehandler. The Taurine 639. You can select just the single wheels or you can have the doubles on the front. Let's go inside here. 
a bit of a look around. There you go. And here is the Zerian. Beast of a Zerian. We have got another cargo trader on the back. You can actually choose between the Zerian 5000 and the 4000. This is the larger of the two. And also you might be interested in seeing it change uh, travelling direction. There we go. So the whole cab actually turns. Let's do it with us in it. What a lot of fun. <laughs> it's like being on a fairground ride. It's always been interesting how the Zerians have done this. I've always found it very interesting. Also, uh, note the uh, exhaust pipe is down here. Not way up above the cab. Okay, so we then have this wheel loader. This, uh, well, but yeah, I guess it would be a, a miniature wheel loader. Wheel loader, yeah, it's pretty big. The Torian 956. It's nowhere near as big as the. Oh, that's the wrong machine. Nowhere near as big as the other one behind us there. It is the the Sinus. The 956 Sinus. I'll put it next to the the big one, the Beast. Let's see, it is smaller in comparison, but it's still pretty big. I don't think this one's called the Sinus, this is just the 914 C-Matic. There we go. So, yeah, this one would be great for doing compacting of silage. Good for moving bulky materials such as maize, silage, selling silage at the BGA. This is the same machine, but it is the Dev Mule. So it's all wrapped up. As you can see. We also have over here the Scorpion 1033, which is our little farm, a oh, pretty big farm telehandler actually. Like I say, we're going to have jobs for all these. It's got a very good reach. So I'm just going to boom it out. Very good telescopic reach. So there's no excuses for having low bale stacks. We can really produce some very high stacks with this. In fact, that's a good challenge for a live stream. In fact, we have some bales. I can make a start with those bales. What a good idea. See how high Dagwin can stack with the Scorpion. Also included are three weights. Now, we have these two here. And you can actually select the weights. They are printed on them, but you can you can vary them in the shop and we have this gigantic weight just here 1800 kilograms and I think they're plus 200 each each slice just here now when you're in the uh, store looking at weights as you do uh, these three this one here looks the smallest it looks the smallest <laughs> but it, it can very soon change to be the biggest uh, even here, it looks pretty small. It's just a, a small weight, just sat here. Until you do this, whoa, it's a huge weight, and it really is heavy. It's 2.6 tons. So probably good for the Zerian. But like I said, they are slice weights, so you can actually take them off. And then with these ones, you can, you can customize them. And as well, we have the class branded front loaders. There are two of these. This is the FL120C, and this is the FL140. We also have the Dyer Disc 500 for the foragers, uh, for mowing grass, that is. has its own trailer, and it has its own pickup as well, for picking up a swath of material, most likely grass. And then, as I've already shown you, we have the Orbis as well. So I think I have just briefly touched on everything here. So I'm going to bring this first look video to a close. Um, there's going to be plenty more live streams coming up, possibly some more videos like this as well, not necessarily a live stream. Um, but yeah, as for this video, as for the first look, there we go. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.